They try to use their powers, but they're stuck. Try to use your powers again! Begin trying to get out! Begin! Miss Marvel manages to reach a tree and pull herself out. She pulls both of them. My name is Corinne and I'm in the sixth grade. I was paired up with Corinne and she is very quiet, very shy, which I understand because I was like that too. I just think Young Storytellers is fantastic. It's just amazing what these kids come up with. This program has been crafted over the years to encourage them and empower them to use their voices and I think that's really amazing. So it's cool that Marvel is working together with Young Storytellers to add even more to that experience. Corinne's story is so good. It's a really complete script. Things circle back to things that seem like a quick reference but are actually important later in the story, just in three pages. It's pretty amazing. Corinne Foley. Corinne was very taken with the friendship amongst the characters in the movie, and she really wanted to express how important finding your friends are. Squirrel Girl is walking around and looking for her friends, but they are missing. She calls out for them. Miss Marvel and Daisy, where are you? There's a light coming from a room in the sewer. She looks inside of the room. She sees Victor put Miss Marvel and Daisy in a cell with iron bars. <laughs> I'm going to take your powers. I have a machine that's going to take your powers and give them to me. <laughs> Victor leaves and SG goes to them and tries to find a way to get them out of the cell. It was amazing just to see that there are writers so young who have a passion and want to do this. It was super cool for my first time. I'm glad you're here. Victor locked us in this cage so that he can steal our powers. And I won't capture you because I don't want your powers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't think they're useful. <laughs> to see what you've created just come alive in front of you is a very, very special feeling. So getting to be a part of that was incredible. Amazing, right? Victor sets a bomb in the cell and <gasps> runs out of the room. <laughs> You'll never get out in time! <laughs> the friends try to find something to break the cell open. <laughs> Daisy uses her vibration powers to break the ceiling. <laughs> Miss Marvel carries them out of the sewer by becoming super tall and lifting them through the hole in the ceiling. Oh, <laughs> and the friends are safe on the sidewalk. The end! <laughs> It was fun and I really liked my mentor. She made me a little bit more confident. Awesome acorns! Click the subscribe button for more Marvel Rising and other nutty videos for Marvel HQ.